Hi, I'm Jens and I work for Danfoss Cooling and I'll tell you about Glide and the consequences for the superheat setting. New directives on use of refrigerants will be put into force over the coming years, depending on where in the world you live. But generally, old refrigerants with a high global warming potential will be phased out, the so-called GWP. Some of the replacement refrigerants are so-called blends that has got far lower GWP. As an example, the R407F is a blend of three known refrigerants, the R32, the R125 and the R134A. Other blends may consist of up to a five components, but the function will more or less be the same. If we look at the HLOCP diagram for R407F, you'll see that the temperature curves decline to the right. This means that the evaporation will start at a lower temperature here, minus 12 degrees Celsius. This is because the R32 component will start boiling before the other two ingredients. Eventually, as the temperature rises to approximately minus 10 degrees Celsius, the R125 component starts boiling. And then finally, the R134A component will boil. So, the evaporation takes place from minus 12 degrees Celsius to minus 8 degrees Celsius, with the midpoint temperature of minus 10 degrees Celsius. The condensing process follows the same pattern, just opposite. The first component to condense is the 134A, then the 125, and then finally the R32. All this has, of course, consequences for the superheat setting. Let's first have a look at a normal, linear, non-glide azeotropic refrigerant. The optimal superheat is according to EN328, the mean temperature times 0 0.65. In this case, it's 6.5 Kelvin. The same applies to glide or zeotropic refrigerants. It's just that the mean temperature will be different. In this case, we're talking 8 degrees Celsius. So the superheat should be 5.2 Kelvin. When you're using a PT chart with glide refrigerants, you need also to know that when you're looking for superheat, you should look for the dew point or dew line values. And when you look for subcooling, you should look for bubble point or bubble line. As a silly rule to remember, look for dew per heat and bob cooling. Stay tuned for other simple info videos or look for our Danfoss Learning Lessons and Basic Refrigeration Podcasts.